Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I bought a broken Sony 4K Blu-ray player from eBay for just $35. Was I able to fix it? Well, we'll find out right after the intro. Now at any given time on eBay, there are listings for thousands of parts that don't work and they're just being sold as, I don't know, just for whatever. It's like, sell it. And usually they sell for a fraction of what they cost new. Every time I come across one of these listings, I think, man, if I could fix that, that could really end up being a great deal. Well, herein lies the problem. My skills are fairly limited when it comes to fixing electronics. So it'd pretty much be blind luck to find the problem, let alone fix it. Well, as you can see here, I threw out all rational thinking and purchased this Sony UBP X800 for a whopping $35 including shipping. The seller listed it as working but not able to play disc. This gave me a little hope that even if I couldn't fix the drive, I could buy a used working drive from eBay for $30 and maybe if all the planets aligned perfectly, I could end up with a $250 4K Blu-ray player for just $65. So my son and I began troubleshooting the unit by first verifying the player's software was up to date and making sure it would stream media. The next step was to confirm whether or not the disk drive was working. And as the eBay seller had stated, it was not able to read disks. So we started taking the player apart, hoping we could stumble across an obvious reason why it wasn't working. The Sony is actually built really well, so the disassembly process took some time. I've shortened it down for the video. We remove the top plate by taking out the 12 screws holding it on. Be careful removing the ribbon cables, you don't want to damage these. The disk drive is held in with four screws. Now remove the two screws from the recessed holes. And the other screws from the locking tabs. Now just grab the bottom of the locking tabs with your index fingers and push forward with your thumbs. You should be able to lift the cover off now. Once the cover was off, we started looking for anything that might keep the drive from working. All the parts seemed to be okay, so my son started cleaning the laser. That's when I noticed something that looked out of place. There was a small spring just to the side of the laser. It was being held there by a strong magnet located in the drive assembly. We removed the spring, put the drive back together, installed it in the player, and hoped we had fixed the problem. And now, for the moment of truth, will it play a disc? Sure enough, that tiny spring was keeping the disc from loading correctly. 
I couldn't believe we had actually fixed this player. I have no idea how the spring got there, but my guess is the previous owner's kids were playing around, putting things on the disc tray, watching them go in and out and just having fun. And that worked out to my advantage. Now, obviously, there's a lot of luck involved with buying electronics like this. And it's very possible to end up with a unit that's just not fixable. For example, I was so happy with the experience I had with this Sony player, I decided to buy three more not working X800s for $70. This time around, things didn't go quite as well. All three units had issues, two of which had no video output, which indicated they had bad main boards. The good thing is all the other parts we tested were okay. The bad thing is the majority of issues with these players are caused from main boards failing. And because of this, they're really hard to find. Another good thing is one of the units kind of works. It'll play 4K Blu-rays and CDs, but it won't update its firmware. So in turn, it won't do any streaming at all. And that's not really that big of a deal for me because I just use my Roku to stream everything. So, yeah. Now, even though this deal wasn't quite as good as my first player was, I have to say it's not a complete failure either. For $70, I ended up with a functioning Blu-ray player and a bunch of extra parts that I can either resell or I can just keep them for extra parts for my other Blu-ray players. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of my purchases. Will I continue to buy broken items on eBay? Probably, but I guarantee I'll be a lot more cautious with the selections I make in the future. So that's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe button. If you wanna see more content from Two Guys Tech, go ahead and hit that bell notification. And I hope you have an awesome day.